Hey, it's the Refined Reseller. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, you'll get tips, tricks, and advice on how to become the best eBay seller you can possibly be. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So I went to an incredible estate sale. I mean, the house was filled with vintage items. I saw it on estatesales.net, and I advise you to do that as well. For all of the sales that are coming up in your area, you can go to www.estatesales.net and see everything that is for sale. That's exactly what I do. I look at the website, I write down all of the items that I am interested in, and I also write down where they're located in the house. So whenever I get in the house, I don't waste any time. I go straight to the item I want and I get it. So I did find some stuff. I'm going to show you everything I found in just a few minutes. But first, I am going to show you a run through of the house, a video that I took. I did speed up the video so it really doesn't last that long. So take a look at what I found. estate sale. I picked up some stuff and I'd like to go over everything that I bought. I'd like to start off with this Kodak carousel wheel that contains Kodak slides, Kodak Kodachrome slides. I bought six of these. There are 80 slides in a carousel. That's a total of 480 slides that I bought. The reason I bought them is I bought some about three months ago at a garage sale. It just so happens some of the slides were of the 1957 New Orleans Zulu Mardi Gras crew, a Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans. I had eight slides from the Zulu crew and I sold each slide individually for between $30 and $40. So that was awesome. So when I saw these slides, my eyes just kind of lit up and I'm thinking, man, you know what? I hit the jackpot again. Some more Kodak Kodachrome slides. So I got them home, and what was pretty neat about it is that each of them uh, have this inside of the box, and it's a list of exactly what the slides are. So I start reading them, and I see Las Vegas, Nevada, San Francisco, California, Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus, Yosemite National Park, and I'm thinking, this is awesome, man. This family went to all of these places, took all of these slides. They're from the 1960s. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to make a lot of money on these slides. So I started looking through them, and what I found out is that probably out of the 480, 400 of them are these type of Super 35s. I also have some Kodak Panaview slides, and these are the kind of slides that you would have bought in a gift shop or a souvenir stand. So the family that had this did not take these pictures. These were done professionally and they could be bought in a gift shop and they're probably not worth as much as I think they are. I don't think I can sell them individually. I think I'm going to have to put them in a lot and sell them. Like I'll put a lot of Las Vegas uh, casino slides, a lot of Yosemite National Park slides, a lot of San Francisco slides, uh, Ringling Brothers uh, circus slides. So I'm just going to have to see what happens. You know, sometimes you make a mistake. I might have made a mistake with this, but I only paid $8 for all 80 of these. So that's like 10 cents a piece. If I lose money, I lose money, but it just goes to show you, always check to make sure uh, what you're getting is exactly what you think you're getting because I got home and I was a little disappointed that all of the slides were not original slides taken by you know, whoever owned it previously. In addition to that, I got some more vintage stuff that I'd like to show you. I got these, these are Christmas ornaments. I sell Christmas items all year long. I thought they were pretty cool. 
Uh, they're made by some guy named Kurt S. Adler, and it's the 12 days of Christmas. You know, you have a partridge in a pear tree, and you know, you've got the different 12 days of Christmas. I picked these up, I think they were $4. They sell for about $30. The original price back in the 1980s was $32.98. So again, I do sell Christmas products all year long. So next I got these, I actually got two of these. Of course, it's new old stock. This cellophane has never been open. This is a uh, fitted sheet by Marlboro. It is a stream, it's kind of like mid-century modern, I think. Uh, maybe not. This is probably from the 70s. I got two of these. They sell for about $30 a piece. Then I got this, and I think this is from the 1950s or 1960s. Again, it's new old stock. It's in the box. It's never been taken out, and it says Houston Baby Blanket, and on it, it says I See You. I thought it was pretty nice. I really kind of like the graphics on it. You can tell it's from the 1960s. Maybe even the 1950s. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do my research. Again, it's a really nice baby blanket. It has never been used. Um, I actually went back to the sale on, uh, on the very last day, which was today, which is Saturday. And at 1 o'clock, everything was 75% off. They had this listed at $15. So I got it for $3.75. And I'm pretty sure I can get at least $35 for it. Another vintage uh, piece that I bought are some pieces. I bought this glassware, and these two, I'm just showing you two of these. I think I have five of these. This is E.T., the extraterrestrial. These were uh, given out at Pizza Hut, and they are from 1982. I have four of these. Uh, I'll be right here is what this one says, and this is home where he's where he was in the closet, the scene where he was in the closet with some stuffed animals. Um, you know, pick these up for maybe 50 cents a piece. I'm gonna sell the, so, the whole set. I think I have four or five of them for 20 bucks. It's glassware. I really don't like shipping glassware because it breaks, but I'm gonna give that a shot. Right here, I have some Popeye the Sailor Man. This is Popeye. This is olive oil. This is from Burger King, and these are also from 1982. And I also have Brutus. So I have Brutus, Popeye, and olive oil, and I have a, another set of three. So I got six of these, and I don't know, maybe $12, $13, $14 a piece. Here's one. This is Peanuts, Charlie Brown. It's the Camp Snoopy collection. I'm not sure of the year. Um, this is, you know, of course, you've got Charlie Brown, you've got Lucy, you've got Snoopy, Linus. Uh, I have about five of these as well. And then I bought this one. This is from the 1984 New Orleans World Exposition, uh, the World's Fair that was in 1984 in New Orleans. I kind of remember it like it was yesterday. I did go. Um, it was kind of a failure, if I remember correctly, because not as many of people, uh, not as many people attended attended as they had hoped. But anyway, just picked up some glassware. I don't sell a lot of glassware because I don't like shipping it, and it's kind of hard to pack to make sure it doesn't break. I also picked up these two tennis rackets. They were five dollars a piece. These are head tennis racket, uh, prestige mid plus, uh, again, $5 a piece. And these are really pretty good tennis rackets. They sell for between 50 and $60. So, you know, I paid 10 bucks for them. So probably a net profit of about a hundred dollars right here. And then finally I bought this Pearl Jam book. Um, it was a couple of bucks, uh, looked up the comps on eBay. It sells for about 20, $25. Uh, I thought it was pretty nice. I'm probably going to read it. I, I, I really like Pearl Jam. Uh, back in the day, I still do like them. So that was the that was the estate sale that I went to. Um, it was kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. There were more than 400 pictures on estatesales.net. And I encourage you to look at estatesales.net before you go on an estate sale because you can see where everything is inside the house, what is available. You can write it down. You can write down in the house where it is. Like for these slides that I just showed you, these were the first things that I bought. I knew they were in a closet. So when I got in the house, I went straight to the closet and I bought all of the slides they had. The prices were a little bit more than I had hoped. Uh, they were kind of high and uh, some of the stuff I couldn't buy because I couldn't make the profit that I tried to make on eBay. But uh, it was fun. You know, there's a lot of stuff there and I did buy a few things. I wish I would have bought more, but that is it. So this is the Refined Reseller saying thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and do like me. Buy low. 
sell high. And again, if you like this video, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.